Well, a very good afternoon, my good beloved listener. Thank you for joining us on today's Pro Life Matters. Just like I told you a while ago, we are joined with very beautiful guests here for today's Pro Life Matters segment. We'll be having a very important, interesting uh, topic of discussion on today's Pro Life Matters uh, segment. Today's topic of discussion is about food and pro-life thinking. How is food related to the pro-life thinking, like the human life? And uh, we are blessed to have Ombita and this beautiful lady here who will be telling us more about today's discussion on the food and pro-life thinking. Um, my name is Agnes Mikali and uh, currently I'm a student. Mm -hmm. My name is Ombita Silvanes. I'm a graduate from the University of Nairobi. I did BSc management of agroecosystem and the environment. Mm -hmm. But passionately, I'm in for organic farming. Uh, right now, I work in Biovision Africa Trust. That's where we normally teach farmers on how to learn and do organic farming. And also, I'm passionate about video making and also this line of agriculture. Mm, okay. That's who I am. So you're an agriculture. <laughs> How are they called? Agriculturalist. <laughs> <laughs> you love things about farming, growing food, mm, even yeah, keeping yeah. Uh, cattle. Yeah, yeah. It is also part of agriculturalist. Yeah, sure. I uh, sent Isana for coming here to Radio Maria. We highly appreciate. So you are both a pro-lifer and an agriculturalist. Is yeah. that a name to to use? Can I use that as your professional? <laughs> Yeah, you can use, but the best word is a sustainable agriculture expert. Okay, agriculture uh, I expert. Do, I also offer consultation to farmers mm -hmm. who really need one to know how can you do farming. Yeah. So, generally, just generally, how can food be relation to human? Can it be connected with human life? Because pro life is about human life. So, how is it? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, food. And human life, those two things, they are inseparable. Yeah. Because uh, every day we need to eat. Of course. I don't know if you can say we live to eat or we <laughs> eat to live. live. <laughs> so I don't yeah. know which, which area are you from. <laughs> but from that, mm -hmm. life is based on uh, what we consume our body. For example, you can not uh, eat... Um, uh, Ways you could assume pain. Uh, you expect to survive. You, you, you expect to survive. Mm -hmm, true. So, so it is food, what you consume. Yeah, food is directly linked to our survival. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, I can just say there is a there is there is foods that we will eat that can prolong our lifespan. Okay. And uh, there are things that there are some of the foods that we can also eat that will, you know, shorten our lifespan. So that is according like to science. Generally, yeah. <laughs> <The research. laughs> okay. So you mean by this? You see, there is food we can eat and then extend our lifespan, and there is food we can eat and shorten our life our lifespan. Yeah. So of course, we as Christians and any other person, most of us will probably. Uh, prefer taking food that will prolong our lifespan. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of food is this? Um, we we generate food as safe mm -hmm. and clean and which are very nutritious to our bodies. Mm -hmm. So wherever you have access to those to that food which is clean, which is safe for your bodies and also which is accessible, we see how you are empowered like you, you are now food secure. Uh, it depends with um, different varieties uh, uh, and how you, you are able to access that food mm -hmm. and uh, how you how you eat. Are you you are eating a bit healthy? Okay. Yeah. So by that, 
you will be able to perform well and also do God's work and also be able to carry out your daily activities. Yeah, true. What kind of eating habit are you talking about? I take breakfast, lunch, and supper. So is it correct? Do you have a specific, maybe we, according to your view, because you're not a profession, but what are these kind? What are these good uh, good habits that we should follow as Christians? Um, because in the year, uh, you have it is more of about eating habits. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As Christians, mm -hmm. we we are supposed to not to eat that too much, mm -hmm. and uh, we are not supposed to eat that very little. Okay. We should moderate our eating habits, um, in order to. Make sure we protect mm. and also conserve uh, our environment and so making uh, being in mind we have some other people joining us mm. even two two years coming mm. or in the next one month. Basically just eating healthy. Eating sustainable. Enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah, eating sustainable. Oh okay.